Two men lead deputies on a chase that reached speeds of 100 miles an hour. They ended up crashing into two vehicles before jumping out and running off. News Center 7's Mike Campbell reports deputies think drugs are involved. The men had to slow down a little bit as they came into Piqua City limits. However, they didn't slow down that much because right here at this intersection, they hit a man driving his vehicle, and even that didn't stop them completely. The men's wild ride carried them into Piqua City limits, where deputies, Piqua police, and troopers caught up with their vehicle, but not them. The moments immediately after the initial crash captured here by Eyewitness 7 reporter Marty Schumann. Went up, hit another car, and then kind of hit the bank and just ripped the front wheel off the car. A few neighbors spotted the two men jump out and take off running through the front yards. Most knew right away they'd probably been chased. Because I told her, I said, somebody's running from the cops, you know. Cause I, when I heard the siren, I knew, you know, people just don't drive like that through here. Speeds reached uh, maybe 100 miles an hour at one point, but there was a lot of turns and we had to slow down a lot. So. Deputies towed the badly damaged vehicle in as evidence. Investigators say inside they uncovered scales and substances believed to be both marijuana and heroin. That would explain why the men wouldn't pull over when deputies tried to stop them for repeatedly going left of center. Oh well, yeah, it's a felony now. You're right. It used to be fun back in the day, but <laughs> not anymore. Deputies say the men jumped out of the car and went through yards in the neighborhood and managed to slip away from them and Piqua police officers. However, they have identified them, know who they are, and think it's just a matter of time before they have them in custody and they'll be preparing to have them face any charges approved by the prosecutor. In Piqua, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.